Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we came to the planet Neath in the Amun system, where we found a crashed ship. All the AIs or the mechs on the ship had gone mental. Afterwards, we got a tip off that the ship's last known docking destination was a place called Jerahi Station, down in the Strabo system, which is all the way over here. So this episode, we're going to be... That's slightly worrying. We'll be fine. Getting back to the main system where the actual refueling station is is going to be a little more interesting. But hey, so yeah, this episode is going to be really chasing down those leads. So this is Jarahi Station. Data mining confirms the last reported location of merchant freighter MSV Corsica is the Jarahi Station in the Stra Strabo system. Possibility exists that clues pertaining to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of the mechs aboard the Corsica can be found aboard Jarahi Station. Cool. Let's land. Now this is weird, uh, journal update to this point to escape Jarahi Station. Despite nothing untoward happening, but if we try the door, locked by Station VI. It's kind of weird that it does that before literally anything has happened. But anyway, there's a PDA on the floor. Oh, load of dead bodies, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, and the welcome sign splattered in blood, that's very symbolic. Dr. Goldwind, at my suggestion, we've cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in the hope that disabling those systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own. Well, that doesn't exactly paint a pretty picture of what I'm doing, does it? This is an odd mission for a lot of ways. Uh, for a lot of ways? In a lot- I mixed up in a lot of ways and for a lot of reasons. One thing is, is you'll notice I didn't bother showing you who I selected for my squad, because there are no enemies dividing this mission at all. It's entirely puzzle-based. Let's restore power to the docking area. Docking area power restored. Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. That the best move you got, VI? Please, please leave. Intruder it's just detected. a... You are not authorized to be in this area. Basically just saying, please, please leave. Please go away. Which I'm not going to do. Those are Goldwind. My firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behaviour is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our own equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is just to do nothing and convince her we're not a threat. Dr. Tellison. Painting an interesting picture here. Through here is Living Quarters, which is where we need to go next. It's actually the only place we can go to because everywhere else has got the power shut down. Now, this is... there's a puzzle through here. I have never figured out how this puzzle works. Um, so it's going to be a bit of an interesting one. There's a lot of stuff to salvage here, as you can see. Oh, and there's a PDA over there, which I didn't, I didn't get to. Oh, no, I can read it through the wall. Attention all docks personnel. We are expecting a shipment of mech parts from the Hanakeda facility on Capek. Haskins, Titan Nebula. Make sure the VI knows to accept a docking request from the M freighter MSV Corsica. So, that allows us to trace the trail back a little bit further. The Corsica came here, but it also came from somewhere else. Let's restore power to the living room quarters. Living quarters. Living area power restored. The living area doors have been closed to quarantine a threat to this station. Advise intruders to engage self-destruct procedures to avoid death by starvation. Well, that's horrifying. That's basically... <laughs> it's a really AI way of phrasing it, of saying... Advise users to to commit to perform self-destruct routine to avoid death by starvation. Basically, just says kill yourself; it'll be quicker, which is really grim. Anyway, you've got these three station controls here. When you access them, if you notice, there's there's doors on here which are both red and green. If you access these controls, Two doors enabled. the doors which are open change, and you basically Five doors enabled. there you go. I did it. Apparently, different buttons open different doors, and they kind of toggle them all on and off. You can just keep hitting buttons until it's done, kind of the, the uh, what's it called in cryptography, brute force approach. On the way out, we'll go via these personal lockers, and you know what? What's the point in going to help people who've been killed if you can't loot the bodies? I'm a terrible person. I'm everything I hate in an RPG player. Um, whenever I'm like playing D&D &D or anything like that, I hate those characters who are just, whenever anyone is dead, or not even dead, it's just like, I loot them, I pickpocket them, I steal their stuff. It's like, okay, don't. It's, oh, sorry. Oh, accidentally fired. I'm alright, thank you very much. 
Um, through there is engineering, which we're not going to quite get, because we want to first go over here to the research lab. This is somewhat more of a fun puzzle, because I understand how this one works and it's quite entertaining. Reminds me of a Zelda game in a lot of ways. Bit of iridium there, bit of iridium there, and lab power here. Research area power restored. Beam engaged. Testing area has been locked down according to protocol M29-2. So, in order to sort this out, we got to spin shit around. And it's basically what in a Zelda game would be a mirror puzzle. That's uh, reflecting into the walls, so we want to do it there. Each each press of the button rotates that armor by 45 degrees. Yeah. And so you kind of have to get everything like that. That's going to go into the left corner. Then that's going to go straight on. And then that's going to go there. So it actually rotates the beam by 90 degrees essentially. And then boom! Wonderful. What are you going to do about it? That's the thing, she hasn't got any guards here or anything, or any mechs, which is why she's saying shit like, kill yourself. Or, I guess she could evacuate the air or something like that, but we've got breathing devices, haven't we? I really like, let's take a look at this point, at Morden and Jack's breathing devices. I feel like, yeah, Jack's suit would be useful literally if there's only air, but everything else is normal, because she ain't exactly going to survive for Just need to get through with it. Right, if those things fire up and hit you, they will kill you very quickly. Ow! Oh, like there, it took three quarters of my shields off and I'm trapped against the wall. Woo! Oh, my squad both died. Yeah. They don't move particularly smart in this and often will get killed. Uh, but yeah, Jack's suit would be utterly useful. Utterly useful? Utterly useless. Ow! Jack's suit would be utterly useless. Like, it's not a suit. She's just topless, other than a breathing mask, so against actually vacuum it would be useless, and she just... Well, I guess what it comes down to is what actually happens when the human body is exposed to pure vacuum. I believe it expands because the pressure that's... There's no pressure on your, like, blood vessels and stuff like that, so I think stuff actually expands. Certainly people who've done, like, high orbits, high altitude jumps from, like, um... Not spaceships, but like balloons, like Felix Baumgartner and stuff like that. Someone did that and they got like a cut on their glove and then that kind of broke the pressure and their hand swelled up to like three times its size. Hub area power restored. Central mainframe access granted. Docked vessel detected. Attempting to upload central programming into docked vessels mainframe. Oh, let's have less of that. Hands off the Normandy sunshine. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. And that concludes Abandoned Research Station, that's what it's called. So. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. That isn't really the full story, because the VI there was more of a victim that she believed they got a virus. Where did they get the virus from? Well, where was the Corsica doctor previously? Who remembers the coordinates? I sure don't. Let's check our messages. From ED, information received, planet information, CAPEC, Haskin system, Titan Nebula. Data from the quarantined VI at Jarahi Station indicates that a possible source of the VI virus outbreak is a Harnikeda facility on the planet CAPEC. Coordinates have been downloaded to the galaxy map. I just want to say at this point as well, investigate the mech facility, that's uh, N7 Harnikeda facility on what? I want to say at this point, this episode, I've been doing really well at speech, um, like reading. Uh, are we going to make it to the system? Oh, we got like 150 fuel. Oh, what I missed? Oh, we're okay. 136. Ooh. But yeah, uh, I've actually been doing really well at reading out. I've barely flubbed at all this entire episode. I mean, this entire episode, granted, has been... What are we on? 11 minutes, which isn't exactly amazing. Um, but I'm I'm pleased with me. <laughs> Good one. Right. We've unlocked a new system up here. All the way up here, the Titan Nebula, right on the outer rim of the galaxy. And one system only in the Titan Nebula, we can't leave it, it's the Haskin system, which has two things in it, the matter area for which we leave, and Planet Capeg. It's a kind of single-purpose nebula as far as this game's concerned. So this is Planet Capeg, based in the... Oh, 
What was I saying about reading? Based. Good one. Baked in the fierce heat of a white sun, Capic is a rocky, waterless, waterless world. It's like the opposite of Kevin Gosner. Uh, wrapped in a haste... Oh, I was doing so well. Wrapped in a haze of hydrogen and ethane. Sulfur and iron give yellowish and black tinges to the planet's surface. No registered settlements appear on the records, though there are clearly metallic anomalies that indicate roof structures. Now, this planet is an interesting one. As you'll notice, it's rich. One of the interesting things about it, if we scan around, look at that on the on the on the readout there. It's rich in element zero. It has element zero, which many planets do not, because it's the end of a quest change. They kind of reward you that way, at least by giving. Element zero is used for bio and and omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. There you have it. So it's one of very few places we can get a good supply of element zero, because um, that's usually the one that's in the most demand. And it has a decent amount of it, so I'm going to scan the whole planet before we proceed to the anomaly. Wow, we've actually got as far down as depleted, because I was just going back to where the anomaly is. But along the way, I hit like two more deposits, so we literally got everything on the planet, which is awesome. Anomaly detected. Surface scan detects mech population facility, production facility even, matching the registration parameters of the Harnikada Corporation. Facility reports an emergency lockdown at this location. Personnel scans report no living beings detected. Hazard scans show a large number of uh, virus-infected mechs quarantined within the facility. Deactivation of the primary production line control should disrupt the creation of additional infected mechs. Let's go! So, um, I didn't mention it, but I brought Miranda and Jacob with us because, unlike in the last mission, this one we absolutely do have to do fighting. And I want the most kind of combat... oh dear. Um, the most combat capable squad mates I've got at the moment, which is those two, because um, Jack is very... Jack and Morden are both quite squishy, so... We need to kill these mechs that are here for the start. I want disruptor ammo on everything because I'm fighting synthetics entirely for this whole thing, so hacking and um, disruptor ammo is going to be my friend here. With the vanguard taken out, let's enter the facility. So, inside we've got a uh, room through here with a medkit in it, and... where is it? A mech! Like you do, let's examine the computer. We've got some logs. Attention all personnel. Our new circuit board <sighs> Our new circuit board suppliers issued an immediate recall on the MX75524A 7552 obedience processor, which has been found to cause systematic breakdown of associated components. We have begun the search for the new supplier. In the meantime, discontinue all use of the MX75524A 7552 until further notice. Gianna. Just FYI, we lost contact with the MSV Corsica. After you expressed concern, I checked the logs, and indeed, the mechs and parts they picked up contained the recalled OPUs. We know the Corsica was headed for Jarahi Station in the Strabo system, but we can't seem to contact them. I hope they're all okay, but I think we've done all we can do at this point. I'm getting reports of mechs coming off our production line and assaulting workers. Some of them seem to be self-destructing at random. Even units not initially installed with the faulty OPU are showing signs of viral infection. We're looking at a potential facility-wide catastrophe here. We're containing this as best we can, but we can't keep this suppressed much longer. When Dr. Rochelle learns about this, heads will roll. Mine will not be one of them. Dr. Rochelle has ordered a complete lockdown. You are hereby ordered to seal the production line access corridor from the rest of the facility. I realize that doing this will seal me and any workers that remain inside with the malfunctioning mechs. This does not affect your orders. It has been an honor to work with you. So, things have quite clearly gone tits up here. There's been an outbreak of a mech virus. Um... And, yeah, this brings me, as ever, to my, to my extreme, what's the word for, state of impressiveness. My ex ex extreme, just, appreciation, I suppose, would be one word for it, um, of, of the term virus for what a computer virus is. Because it's very accurate that it's not just a, it's a thing that spreads, and like the whole way it behaves is exactly like a real world, like a, like a, a pathogenic biological virus. It's, it's a very accurate term in a lot of ways. Oh, we've got a Fenris mech coming around the side. As ever, these guys are going to want to stop them. I've got my pistol on, which I'm actually going to make the weird move of switching to my machine pistol. And usually, as you know, I complain viciously about um, about um, what are they called? Some machine guns. Because um, they're kind of crap. But they are very useful against oh, 
Take cover to regain health. I will do. Thank you very much for the advice. They are very useful against synthetics, especially when equipped with disrupt armor. Like I've got, that's a normal thing to see. Whoop. Well, that's that's someone else's problem now. Ugh, this. Scarily enough, there's a lot of always like the, the, the not Loki, the Emir mechs, the, the heavy mechs going above our heads here. Just try our best to ignore them. Oh, that's not the power I meant to use. Um, I meant to use. Uh, can we overload them, please, Miranda? Thank you very much. Wow, that did surprisingly little against them. Oh dear. I to help. Get back and cover your clown. There we go. I no, what I meant to use there was AI hacking. That's extremely valuable in this because you just buy yourself time by turning them briefly against their enemies. I assume that's someone else's problem as well now. Wonderful. There we go. Turn around. Now, this bit is interesting, and on the higher difficulties, this bit can be ridiculously challenging, because there are unlimited mechs here. You've got to fight through this kind of maze of crates we're in, and they literally keep coming forever. Like, they, every one you kill, one will appear, and there's never, there's never more than three, but they'll always appear just ahead of your position. And they can be a, this bit can be really challenging on higher difficulties. We're not on a high enough difficulty, so we should be fine. But you just gotta, you gotta make sure you've definitely got, like, anti-mech stuff. Like, came into that, we've got the, what's it called? We've got the art projector, which should be quite handy for stopping any shit from happening at us that way. If it really comes to emergency maneuvers, is that one stuck in a wall? Yep, it is. Oh well. At least the nice thing as well is to say, you can kind of, I can keep them hacked. Oh no, I can't. Apparently you can't use hacking twice on the same one. That would be a bit unfair. Um, I saw a red target thing over there. There we go. As soon as I see one, I'm just hacking it. Just so that it just gives me a bit of additional firepower. But generally, as I say, this this shouldn't be too bad. Bam. Um, now, if we come down to the side here, we can grab a little bit of element zero. Cheeky. And I think we're done. Wonderful. When, oh, we're not done. That was a lie. That was an absolute and complete lie. Miranda, overload, please. Thank you. Jacob, can you pull the one that we've not got a hold on? Oh, that was the one I had a hold on. Damn it. Well, I just lost my ally. This is problematic. That's nah, not we're fine. Wonderful. And there's a data pad to examine. Ah! ah! I thought I was done. Really thought I was done there. Whoomph. I like that. They're like, viral attack detected. They say things in response to your hacking. I don't feel good about that. Um... Yeah, well, there's a data pad somewhere from the Chief of Security, which details a little bit more that's happened here, but not much. But I really don't want to go back and get it. Let's grab some more Element Zero through the wall, apparently. And coming up here, we will find... Well, a door, but what's through the door is what's interesting. We will find... Production line, shutdown controls. Let's roll. Oh, we have to hack it. Uh, of course we do. There's one there, there is one there, and there's one there. That was nice and straightforward. And that brings us to the end of the Hanukkah Facility mission, with a fiery finale. So that's a nice little little three-way, um, three-part quest series there. And really, the kind of the big goal there at the end was the kind of main thing we got from it was a fair bit of Element Zero from scanning that planet. So to finish off, I'll just give you a quick hint as to what we'll be doing next episode. If we go into the journal, dossier, Archangel, Archangel. Oh. Archangel. Small unit tactical expertise, omnitool expert and noted sniper. Archangel is a mercenary commander whose operations are noted, noted for their technical expertise and strategic brilliance. He is responsible for high profile attacks on gang leaders in Omega and can likely be found there. That's what we'll be doing next time. So, thank you very much for watching. We've successfully disabled a potential huge scale viral AI outbreak. And next episode, we will be continuing on with our next dossier, which is Archangel. Thank you very much, and good day.